Making sure that no child goes hungry to clean drinking water, Senator Maisie Hirono has been working hard for Hawaii, but she's taking time out of her busy schedule this morning to join us to address these topics. Good morning, Senator. How are you doing this morning? Good morning. I like your lead in. <laughs> Now, first off, Senator, you're pushing to extend the child nutrition waiver. Why is that so important, and what's the status on the waiver? During COVID, we had to become a lot more flexible in how we were going to uh, make sure that our kids were getting the food they needed because they weren't in school. So we had to provide a waiver, which will expire in June, I believe, of this year if we don't extend it. And so, you know, schools are still struggling to provide the meals that our kids need, and that's why... I'm supporting the extension of a waiver through uh, the next school year to enable our schools to readjust. But basically, I don't think we should. We, I don't think we should require kids to uh, show that they need free lunches. I think free lunch should be, should be provided to all our public school kids, regardless of economic need. To me, that is a right, not a privilege, for our kids to to make sure that they get the food they need to learn. And what were you hearing at Kalihikai Elementary? Because I know you went to go visit them this past week. Yes. Well, the, it really pointed out the importance of the, the uh, waiver program. And I talked to the principal at Kalihikai, and he said they have a very high percentage of immigrant kids in their school. And if we don't have the waiver, then the parents are going to need to fill out forms that uh, will enable their children if they qualify for free lunches. Now, that is quite the challenge because uh, if you are not an English-speaking parent, then filling out these forms is a challenge. And so he was telling me how important it is to continue the waiver program. And then I also saw the kids, you know, they, uh, they're still practicing social distancing and um, all of that to make sure that the kids are safe and healthy. Now, Senator, last week you got a chance to tour the Navy's Red Hill fuel storage facility. What was your biggest takeaway? I wanted to make sure that the chairman of the Senate Armed Services Committee saw the facility for himself because it's going to take a lot of money, over a billion dollars, to safely defuel the Red Hill facility. And I asked him to come to Hawaii to see for himself the importance of the resources or the money that we're going to need to defuel and to clean up that area once it's defueled. So uh, I have visited Red Hill a number of times, but it was the first time for him. And he actually stood inside a tank, so he knows what the challenges will be as we defuel safely. That's part of my uh, effort and focus on this trip to protecting our community and uh, to help our families. Now, Senator, I know you're still in town. What's on the agenda for this week? I'll be going to the Big Island tomorrow, and uh, you mentioned the Mayor Monarch Festival. I will be visiting uh, the festival. Uh, it is a huge economic driver for the Big Island, as well as all the vendors who will be going there, and it's a cultural and economic festival at the uh, Edith Kamakaole Stadium. And in fact, I just want to mention that there will be a, a U.S. quarter that will be issued with her image on it next year. So that is a, a big deal. So I'll be visiting the Mayor Monarch Festival, and then I will also be visiting the STEM, or oh, the, the teacher, Hawaii Teacher of the Year, who is a STEM teacher, and we need a lot of people who have STEM education background, so I'm going to do a STEM project with her high school class. I'll also be visiting a, um, I'll, I'll, I'll visit, I guess a visit is the word, uh, a bridge on the Big Island, the Coca-Cola Bridge, that will use part of the $1.9 billion in infrastructure money that's, been, that's being provided to the state of Hawaii for fixing up our roads, our bridges, and everything else. And I'll be uh, looking at that bridge to, to see why uh, that bridge needs to be fixed. And the, the infrastructure bill will also address uh, some of the supply chain needs that we know we are facing as we get on with our infrastructure. So I'm sorry, did I say 2.8 billion of infrastructure money coming to Hawaii? If I didn't, that's the kind of money we're gonna to need to um, fix up some of our infrastructure in Hawaii. Well, I know you got a very busy schedule, so we thank you for joining us this morning. <laughs> Appreciate it. And you have thank a great you. week, the rest of the week, and safe travels. Thank you, everybody stay safe, be kind.